Zoe and today I'm going to make a video of how to do a Halloween costume. And this year, for Halloween, I'm going to be something very, very pink. You can tell that I'm going to be something very, very pink. And it is Piglet from Winnie the Pooh. My friends and I are going, they're going to be Winnie the Pooh and Tigger, which is going to be like a little trio. And I'm really excited about that. And I'm just going to show you guys how to make a piglet costume. And over here I just have my supplies are from Michael's and Justice and I can't wait to get started. So first I have these little cat ears from Justice and they're just gonna go great for the ears of Piglet. And I have a shirt that my mom bought at Michael's. And it's, we're just gonna put like some stripes on it so it looks like Piglet. And then we have some Justice leggings that are like Piglet's bottom half. So, this looks like his legs, or her legs, you never know. <laughs> and comment down below if you think Winnie the Pooh is a girl or a boy. Who knows? We have some pipe cleaners, and we might use this for our tutu. I'm gonna do a tutu later. And so the, actually, the pipe cleaners are for my tail, for Piglet's tail. So over here, See these be like bedazzled, string stuff? This is for the stripes of Piglet. So when you see pictures of Piglet, you see that he or she has stripes on their clothing. So this is like an elastic band, and this is a tool, and this is what I'm gonna make to use my, to make my tutu. And I have like two little colors over here, so it's like different colors mixed and matched. So that's all my supplies and I'm gonna get started now. So if you're wondering why I have these like pink stripes on my face, today was like an intra-squad day at gymnastics where we did like, we got up in teams and we competed, but the other team won, which I'm really proud of them. And we just had some like, one of our teammates brought in like pink stripes for the pink team and it was just really cool. So that's why I have it on my face. <laughs> that's why I'm all messy because it was a busy day. Now I opened up these iron on shrimp tape stripes and I'm gonna place start placing them on my shirt. So I started out the pattern and I'm gonna continue it. So I decided that it was gonna be rose gold, then like a darker pink, and then I'm just gonna continue that pattern. So it goes all the way down. So the instruction tells me to set iron to linen with steam off. Then I'm gonna place a plain sheet of paper over the tape. And now I'm gonna press for 15 seconds. And now it should be all good. And it says peel back the paper slowly. Then it says, check the tape is secure. Repeat step if needed. It works, guys. Look, it's on. Now I'm gonna move on to more of the stripes and then I'll just work my way down. So you guys saw some other hands in this video and I just wanna make sure that if you're gonna do this, to make sure you have parental guidance so that you don't burn any fingers or cut yourself. Now I'm just gonna work my way down and I have the second strip. You can see these are perfect. So I had to pin them down because it was getting hard for me to hold just by itself. So now I can do two at a time, which is really multitasking if you think about it. Launcher, how you doing today? 
you little, same little steamy. You okay, buddy? <laughs> Mom, so what happened? So, my mom thought it was a good idea to keep the pin there while she did it. What happened? And um, two of them melted a little bit. And got stuck to the paper. You can see the little burnt right there. In there. Oh my goodness, they're burnt. They're turnt! <laughs> They're turnt. That's what the people say here. They're turnt! We got bird to be turnt! <laughs> I just want to say a special thank you to my mom that's supporting my craziness. And she's helping out with my whole costume. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. No, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. This little light of mine. I think I'm out to the pen. Hello, Mr. Plancha. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Nellie. I'm just mowing the sparkle on. You know how things go around here. Okay. Would you be a dear and move my paper? Yes, Miss Plancha. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, the reason I'm saying Miss Plancha in my stories is because Plancha is um, iron in Spanish. So, that's why I'm saying Miss Plancha. Miss Plancha. It's gonna be there. Cooking, it's cooking. Something is cooking. It's my costume for Halloween. <laughs> Sorry. It looks like you're... <laughs> so your pop socket is like sticking out. It looks like your nose right there. And then right there, it looks like you have one eye, but not another one. And then your smile is just literally right there. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm gonna have to show you guys later what I'm saying. Okay, would you be a dear and lift me up and take this paper away? Yes, Miss Plancha. Thank you, dear. And just set me down over there. Thank you for helping me mow on my sparkle lawn. It's done now. And my shirt's done. Thank you, Miss Plancha. Now, we're gonna move on to either the tutu or the cat ears. So, a little loom took around the side. Don't forget to turn off your plancha, your iron, because it just might burn the house down. You never know. So always turn it off, people, and unplug it, because you never know if it's still set a fire. It might have a mind of its own. You never know. So I'm calling. We need the pudding right now. That's my friend Kayla. So right now I'm just cutting out some of these fabrics and you can see that these are two different fabrics for my tutu. And this one's like a really white pinky color. And that was more of a hot pink with sparkles. So they're both very different in their own way. This one's very hard to see when you're cutting. There you go. So I'm just gonna do that over and over until I get like the same amount as that one over there. So after you've done cutting this out, you want to take this elastic band, put it around your waist, and half space tight, like a bow. So I've cut out my elastic band, and now you're going to take one of these, you're going to put it in the middle, and I'm just going to hold it just for me, and then you're just going to make a knot. And that will give you like some unequal tutu, but it's gonna look cute. So I've decided to take two of the pink, so that it looks more pink here than just like a white color. You can see it's kind of uneven, but we'll snip around the edges. So if I want it like really, really short, I can just cut this. Doesn't that look cute, guys? It's like mix and match. And then once I'm done, I 
can just cut it up and it's great. Okay, I can't wait to show you guys when it's done. So I'm almost finished and I just have one more. You've gotta make sure these things are spread out because if not, it's just not gonna work. And it won't go all the way, so just make sure they spread out. There we go. And now, a little test drive. Just a giant one by putting these all together and just swirling them. So here's one piece, and I think we're gonna try it. So I'm just gonna swirl it around my fingers. Whoop, that looks picky enough to you. <laughs> it looks super cute. It's like a spring. So I twisted up four more, and now I'm just gonna make a big, big tail out of it. So I think we want the end to be the little part. So I'm gonna just attach. So I've attached my pigtail and it looks super cute. And now I'm gonna try it on to see how it looks. Is it perfect? I think it's perfect. <laughs> and now I'm gonna add the whole costume together. See you in a little bit. And now I'm gonna put my whole costume together. It's time for the cat ears. I don't know which one I should wear. There's so many cute decisions. Well, I gotta make one quick, because Halloween's only two days away. I think I'm gonna go with these. So, now I've put on my cat ears, and my costume is finished! I'm so excited. I'm gonna go look at myself in the mirror. So this is the finished product of my Halloween costume. So guys, I decided that last night it didn't really match, the shirt did not really match with the rest of my costume. My mom was so nice and she went to the store and got me a lighter t-shirt. And now we're not gonna even use this color rose gold. We're just gonna use a darker pink to make stripes. Here we go again. So my new shirt is finished, and I really like how this one came out. And I have a little surprise that's gonna be coming on the back. And I can't wait to show you guys, but I can't show you now. It'll have to be a surprise. So I'm done, and now I'm gonna put everything on. Oh my God, it looks amazing! And I can't wait to trick or treat tomorrow. And you know how I was talking about a little surprise? Well, here it is. I put Piglet on the back and I think it's super cute. Thanks for watching this video. And if you like this video, subscribe to that little button down there to see more awesome videos. And have a very, very pink Halloween.